Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am not outside today because I'm tired. About to lay on the couch. Got my blankie. This blanket is amazing. I hurt my wrist. Don't know how. Um, I'm thinking it was the weights I was using to work out this morning. But anyways, whatever. It hurts. I can't do this. I can't move it sideways. It hurts so bad. Um, anyways, I came on here to talk about First of all, do y'all like these daily vlogs? <laughs> no one even, is even watching them, which is so funny, but I'm gonna still make my vlogs. I'm watching High on the Hog right now, and it's about how African-American cuisine transformed America. It's on the TV right now, um, so I just read that. And I just think it's just amazing. I love knowing how much my... <sighs> Skin color has made an impact everywhere. Although I'm American because I was born here, my family is from Haiti. And you know, most countries has their slaves, but Haiti was the first country who abolished slavery. But growing up here in America, until I had like American friends or until I started taking like history classes, I didn't know much about American black history um, because I'm Haitian. I'm a first generation Caribbean American. So that's not part of, we're not being taught what was going, what was happening in America in a Haitian household or Jamaican household or whatever the case may be. So I learned a lot about like the different foods that people ate here. Um, probably until I met my best friend in middle school. Um, I think she was my first American friend. Yeah, she was my first American friend. So that's when I started to learn about collard greens and um, sweet potato pie and like fried chicken the way okay i'm <gasps> there's a bee in here oh my gosh how the heck am i gonna get this out of here how did it get in here oh my gosh <gasps> oh my gosh oh my gosh what do i do like it is flying around like do i open the <gasps> shoot oh my gosh oh my god okay i gotta stop recording what the heck all right, I'm back. I got it out. Oh my gosh, that thing was flying like crazy. Yo. So what I did was we have this net in front of the house, in front of the door. And I was like, okay, it's flying to all the light bulbs that's that's in the ceiling. So let me real, let me duck. And then I went to go open the net I went to go open the net and I turned off the light so it could see like the outside light and it did exactly what I wanted it to do. It flew. Oh my gosh. That's wild. Anyways. Yeah, so it's until I met my best friend where I really knew American food like that. But it's just, it's just so important to like know your culture, know where your roots kind of lie and you know. I, I will always love black cuisine. Um, but it just made me think of like my own culture and how important it is for me to understand my husband's culture, my culture, because we're both first generation Caribbean Americans. His family is from Grenada and my family is from Haiti. And it's like when we, you know, if God decides to bless us with children, I don't want that culture to die with us. Like, I want them to know the music. I'm sorry, I'm playing with my hair so much. I want them to know the music. I want them to be able to speak Creole. Like, I already have it in my head. Like, if we have a child, I'm 
going to speak Creole to them so they will understand and they will be able to not only just understand it but speak it as well and I do that with my stepson now I teach him words here and there so he will be able to I don't want anybody in this household to feel left out like I'm so grateful that my mom forced me to cook with her because now I do know how to cook Haitian food so it's just it's so much in food and within this first episode it was talking about um how our roots basically you know from Africa and you can see the different foods that they make in Africa and it's you can see it in different parts of like the Caribbean and what we make and it just makes me so proud like that certain countries like hold on to tradition culture making sure you're passing it on to generations so it doesn't get lost and it's like People may want to imitate the things that we create, but it's just, it's the beauty of knowing your roots. Ah, I love it. I love it. Y'all, I'm not going to lie. I had a lot to say, but that bee freaked me out. So this is going to be a very short video and I will talk about it more tomorrow as I get through more of the episodes because I had a lot to say like but my mind is like all jumbled up now <sighs> that darn bee and I, and I knew I wasn't tripping because I'm like I hear something in the house that's buzz buzzing mind you the lights were off I only turned it on so I could record so when I turn it on and I'm recording I hear bzz, 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 bzz what the heck is that that's why i stopped that part edited out i'm gonna edit out but i stopped i'm like okay and it didn't make any noise when i stopped talking so i started talking again to y'all but then y'all saw me freak out listen god bless you god keep you i love you but jesus loves you most i'll see you guys tomorrow when I can get my thoughts together and what I wanted to say. I'm gonna watch more episodes anyway, so yeah. I can't believe that B was in the house. Trife. <laughs>